my name is Laura Ibarra Kane, and I'm the education manager here at the South Carolina State Museum. And I'm Diana Yoder. I'm the Science Education Manager here at the South Carolina State Museum. We're here doing some pretty cool stuff with you today, including chemical reactions. And these are our really cool salt fires, where Ms. Diana is going to show us some really cool things that happen with ionic and covalent bonds and energy transfer. So what do we have here? All right, so we're going to be looking at some properties of the different compounds, like Ms. Laura said. We have a few different salts on our table. The first speaker is our calcium chloride. Next, we have our cupric sulfate. Next, we have our strontium chloride. Next, we have our potassium chloride. And finally, we have our cupric chloride. Now, each of these salts are made up of two different elements. Elements, of course, are made up of atoms. We've got our protons and neutrons hanging out in the nucleus, while we've got the electrons orbiting around the nucleus. Now, depending on which element you have, you're gonna have a different number of electrons. So, the number of electrons also means you're gonna have different amounts of energy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more energy to our compounds and make those electrons excite. They're gonna jump up to a new energy level, but they don't wanna stay that way forever. They're eventually gonna fall back down to their ground state. And when that happens, the energy they had absorbed has to go somewhere, so they're gonna release light. And depending on how much energy that was, we'll get a different color light. So let's go ahead and get started. For safety reasons, we're gonna be setting things on fire. So I do have my fire retardant gloves here. And I'm not using any because I'm not lighting the table on fire. Yeah, Miss Laura's not using the lighter. <laughs> um, I also have glasses on to protect myself from any splashes or anything like that. But I will be putting my goggles on. Excellent. So first, before we light any of our salts on fire, I'm gonna take some of my methanol and I'm going to show you what color this burns by itself. Because just like those other compounds, it has a specific amount of energy and is gonna be a specific color as well. Cool. So I have a special table. Normally you would not do this on the table. Oop. We just have a little extra. I'm gonna put a line on our table. And we're gonna set this on fire. So. Set my lighter on. Ooh. Now, got a little extra. You can see the color was blue. There's a little bit of orange in there, but for the most part, our methanol burns blue. So every time it goes into one of these, we're going to see blue first, mm -hmm. and then we'll see the actual color after. Yep. Okay. We'll see that methanol catch on fire first with that blue color, and then we'll see what color the salt really is. Okay. So let's get a little bit more. And we're going to start with that calcium chloride. Mm -hmm. and a little more. This salt right now looks white, but we have a couple different colors on the table. One of them is blue and one of them is green. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay. So now that our methanol is in there, I'm going to grab that lighter. So, yeah. there we go. Ooh, that one's kind of orange. Yeah. Yeah, ooh. Awesome, so that one's kind of an orange color when it burns. Yep, we've got a little bit of the blue in the background mm -hmm. and it's also orange. I'm just gonna take some water and so just pour a little bit of that into our salts to get that to stop burning. Next, we have our cupric sulfate. And this is the blue one. This is the blue one. Mm. Now just because a salt is a color, does that mean that it's necessarily the color that it's going to burn? We can find out in a second. Let's add some of our methanol. Now, I don't think it looks too blue. <laughs> I think it looks green. Yeah, that's a beautiful green color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. So again, I'm just gonna pour a little water. Set that fire back down. 
And next, we have our strontium chloride right here. That's another white one, but the salt is a lot finer. It's yes, really it's a little smaller grain. And you keep capping it because the methanol so evaporates So it quickly. evaporates quickly, so if we left this on, we wouldn't have very much left over. <gasps> oh, there we go. That's a beautiful red. Yep. Didn't even see any blue there. It went straight yeah. to red. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get a little water in there. Set that fire down. Next is our potassium chloride. This one I think is even finer grain. Yeah, it's really tiny. So we've got some blue. I'm gonna give it a second. Is that one yellow? There's a little bit of orange coming through in the yeah. bottom. This little one, this one always likes to be a little bit blue oh, at first. Oh yeah, there you can goes. see it now. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Here goes the water. And then the last one, this is my favorite. We're gonna do the cupric chloride. And the salt looks green. Mm -hmm. so. So it's burning blue for a second, but then we get those beautiful teal colors coming out. That's really cool. Oh yeah, you can see, and it's sparkling a little bit. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So we're going to set that fire out, and so we just excited. <gasps> there we go. We excited <laughs> a bunch of electrons, and they cooled back down, and that's why we got our different colors. Awesome. <laughs>